All right, so this is the motor um, with 136,000 miles on it uh, that we took it apart. Uh, we haven't done anything to this motor cleaning wise other than take parts off it. So we're gonna put the camera down this main bearing right here, which is one of the spun ones. Uh, the crank was actually cracked on, which side was it? Right here. The crank was cracked on this side. So we're gonna put the camera down and look. Can you shine the side? Yeah, can you shine a light? Oh yeah, go ahead, put it sideways. Go down? Nope, too far down. Hold on, I gotta turn it. I think you're too bright. Here, switch the camera to forward again. Okay. Let's just not be deep enough. Okay, here, now turn it. Yeah, the, the hole's not deep enough. Okay, go back to straight. Um, let me try to see where the other thing is quick it's, here. Um, right here. Oh, you can take this port out right here. Right here. This is where the oil pump hooks up to. So this is where the oil pump is. Just repeat. As you can see, we don't really have like an amazing scope here where we can turn it at all a bunch of sweet angles, but we haven't cleaned any of this. This is all clean on its own. Um, this, uh, hold on. Here, let's. Do you have an, the Allen wrench? Mm -mm. For what? Because this right here is the main oil port. It goes all the way down. Then uh, they're right there. Or... Okay, I'm going to take another video here. This is uh, one of the main oil ports here. Um, you can see it runs all the way to the front, down the front of the motor. Um, when you're looking at these engines, you can see where a lot of the oil goes because you have these little pathways here. So what you have here is where the oil pump goes, and you can see the pathways in basically webbing from the motor where the direction of the oil. Now we already shot a camera through here and showed that there's absolutely nothing in there. We also shot a camera through here and showed that there's nothing down inside there either. Um, I'll do a couple more of them real quick. You can see as well, this is perfectly clean in this main as well. And same in this main. We have a perfectly clean main. All you got is a little bit of oil pulled up there in the bottom of the pipe. Um, now we're gonna clean the camera off here and we'll go down this other pathway here. And again, you can see this buildup that people try to talk about that say is what's causing the issues in these engines. There's nothing in here. This engine is absolutely immaculate. The oil pump just captivates. Yeah. I mean, you can see how shiny it is in there. Everything is in super good condition, actually, on this engine. Um, it's kind of sad that the crankshaft busted in half. Uh, I mean, but you can see here, there's <clears throat> wear um, in what you would consider a, uh, um, what I would consider um, rotational wear at a specific force point, so you can see the wear spot is the same on every bearing, which would be the main point of force. But if you look here at like this specific main bearing, um, there's almost no wear on here. This is the coating on the bearing when the bearings get put in. Um, I want to say these other three were they weren't they weren't really bad, were they, Charlie? Or were they just they were just worn? They're worn. These ones were worn here. Um, it's right down on the ground under your feet. Yeah, here. I think those are rod bearings. That one was super worn. Yeah. This one was super worn as well. I threw them on the floor. Yeah, yeah. whatever. They're junk anyway. Uh, but as you can see, um, by this specific motor, that soot getting in the oil was absolutely not the cause of any type of engine failure here. Okay, so this is the other engine with the broke crank. Now this engine, you'll see, um, the crank was actually broke here by the first main. Um, 
and the force of the timing chain setup actually forced the harmonic balancer to pull one direction. Um, and basically, as the engine rotated, it bounced back and forth like this and eventually wobbled this out. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I haven't looked inside any of these ports yet. So this is where the oil pump goes. Again, nice and clean. We're gonna check the mains here as well. You can see here, I mean, these mains were actually in really good shape on this engine as well until the crank went out. Oh, the mains were great until the front of the motor. Until the, the front off. of the motor fell off. Okay, yeah. you can see, same down here. We have a little bit of oil and crap down there, but other than that, this, this galley is nice and clean. Same as well with this one. A little bit of oil on the bottom, that's about it. Also, number three, just a little bit of oil in it. Same thing here in number four. So you can see that's that's two engines here that we have with broke crankshafts that have that were completely bone stock. Um, that have absolutely no signs of anything plugging up anything to do with the oil. Here's crankshaft. This is the motor we took apart this morning. And it busted the crank right after the first main. And then the other one you can see here busted the crank almost in half. It busted at the beginning of the second set. So completely different spots, identical problem, nothing emissions related.